adults with imaginary friends are stupid? I do. Do you think adults that kill other people because their imaginary friend told them to are stupid? I do. Every summer I go to this summer camp and it's fun. I mean, they have horses, rock climbing, but they also have Bible study. They gave us Bible verses and we had to discuss how great and philosophical Jesus was or whatever. Then I noticed, why don't they ever focus on the Old Testament? So I read some of it. If a man sells his daughter as a female slave, she is not to go free as the male slaves do. So basically, first of all, it talks about a man selling his daughter as a female slave, and that the men can go free in six years, and the women can't. God also ordered Moses to kill every Midianite woman who is no longer a virgin. You have to realize the implications of that, because clearly, some of these women would have been pregnant. This is quoted in Numbers 31, 15-18. In Hosea 13-16, your God says, They will fall by the sword, their little ones be dashed to the ground, their pregnant women ripped open, killing the babies. He sacked Tipsa and ripped open all the pregnant women. God allows this in 2 Kings 15-16. Kill both man and woman, infant and nursing child, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. In 1 Samuel 15-3, your God commands this. Finally. Happy is he who repays you for what you have done to us. He who seizes your infants and dashes them against the rocks. He's in Psalms, Psalms, I don't know how you pronounce it. 137, 8 to 9. So in other words, I found it it was bad when I read it. I found out about mythology a while ago. All the different gods, like the Norse gods and the Greek gods. That doesn't really make sense, but I mean, it's fine to make metal songs about it but it doesn't make any sense and then i found out more about accepted today gods and i'm thinking what's the difference there's no evidence for them either i started to learn a lot about different religions and i think wait a minute that contradicts everything we know about scientific facts today basically i just started to realize how much religion made absolutely no sense i think that my favorite thing about science is that it's so progressive we learn more and more every single day they discover new fossils a different cure for a disease unlike religion it just keeps moving forward if you're sick would you rather have a newly discovered medicine or have a priest come and pray for you it's widely accepted that the medicine will do a lot more so why do people keep saying that science isn't true and religion is there are so many ridiculous things happening in this world because of religion and i need to do something about it right now i can just talk about it and try to convince people about why this is completely ridiculous but once i go to university graduate blah 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 i am going to go and become an atheist crusader i started thinking to myself i think science is way more accurate and realistic than religion because when it comes to science religion really doesn't make much sense before that did you really think about it or about what you were really believing not really as science progresses more people will realize that the invisible man in the sky doesn't exist 